Hello and welcome to another new video where we're going to be discussing uh, the effects, the benefits of three common treatments for PCOS and they're all going to be revolving around insulin resistance. So these are all known as insulin sensitizing treatments and we're talking about metformin, inositol and berberin for PCOS. So getting into it, uh, most people are probably familiar with metformin and inositol. Metformin is probably the most commonly prescribed medication for PCOS outside of birth control. Inositol, I would dare say, is the most most well-known supplement for PCOS. A lot of people aren't too familiar with berberine, but what's very exciting is the the amount of research and the amount of positive research coming out now about berberine. So I'm excited to share that with you if you've never heard of berberine or if you've you know heard a little bit about berberine, but you, you're kind of on the fence about it. Firstly, just touching on metformin, just touching on what these um, what these treatments are before we get into what they do for PCOS. Metformin is a prescribed medication, so you will need to get it from your doctor. As I said before, apart from uh, birth control, it's probably the most prescribed medication for PCOS. Now, uh, it's not designed for PCOS, it's actually a type two diabetic drug, but the link there to PCOS is insulin resistance. So around 70% of those with PCOS will have insulin resistance, which is a key underlying driver of PCOS. So that's the link there. So if your doctor um, runs tests and find that you do have blood sugar issues or you are insulin resistant or even you know pre-diabetic, uh, they often then prescribed metformin. Now, the research is very clear. Metformin can help. Um, you know, I don't like to demonize anything, especially if the research is there. And I am someone that lives and dies by research combined with anecdotal evidence. So combined with chatting to actual people with PCOS, listening to their experiences, and that helps sh um, shape my beliefs around PCOS. In terms of the science, the science is very clear that metformin can help. Um, that's why they prescribe it. The The major drawback with metformin, though, is the side effects that come with it. If you watch any or read any of my posts on social media, whenever we talk about metformin, the amount of engagement we get, the amount of feedback from those who have taken it and said, it just destroys my stomach, diarrhea, um, makes me nauseous, makes me vomit, makes you know bloating you know i made a post last year talking about how you, you can never trust the fart on metformin <laughs> but it is so true so that's the big downside of metformin although it has been shown to help like with anything it's not going to help everyone with pcos the big downside there is the side effects they can be nasty so a lot of people find that you know the side effects are just too much to continue um, so that's metformin, but how metformin does work, as I said, it improves insulin resistance. So it does that by two ways. Uh, it reduces how much glucose is actually released by the liver, and it also improves the insulin sensitivity of your cells. So that's how it improves blood sugar, insulin, uh, and then has a cascading effect on other aspects of uh, PCOS. The second one here is inositol. So myo inositol. Inositol is one of the, well, it is definitely by far the most well-researched supplement on PCOS. I'm excited to share this um, systematic review and meta-analysis that was just released on inositol. Um, again, it works very similar to metformin. It, it, it improves your insulin sensitivity. So it improves insulin resistance. Um, Probably the, the main benefit of inositol compared to metformin, well, number one, you don't need a prescription for it. It is simply a health supplement. You can buy it at most most supplement stores online, Amazon, we stock one. Uh, the, big, the big upside compared to metformin, though, is the amount of side effects. Now, some people do report side effects, but generally speaking, it is a very, very well-tolerated supplement. It's actually a form of naturally occurring sugar, generally found in citrus fruits. But the side effects are generally few and far between. It's breastfeeding safe, it's uh, pregnancy safe, three to four grams a day. So inositol, and, and the research is there as well. Uh, like metformin, the research is there to back inositol. It has been shown time and time again to be very effective for PCOS. Again, if you don't have insulin resistance as a factor of your PCOS, I would advise not taking inositol because it probably won't be effective for you. And the third one here is berberine. Now, berberine is probably a, a newer supplement for PCOS. 
but the research is extremely positive. Uh, berberine is a plant extract from certain plants like the tr uh, like barberry, uh, tree turmeric. So that's where it naturally occurs on, on plants. Now, berberine, uh, the, the amount of research coming out for berberine is probably greater than any other supplement I've seen. I'm someone that reads the studies, the latest PCOS studies every single day. And in terms of um, natural treatments, nothing's being studied more so than berberine. And that's because of the research behind it. And that's because the benefits they're finding for it. So again, like inositol, like metformin, it, its main mechanism of action is to improve insulin sensitivity. In, by saying that, I'm also saying it improves insulin resistance. So as we said before, for so many with PCOS, insulin resistance is that underlying driver driving uh, a state of high androgenism, uh, uh, hyperandrogenism, high androgens. And those two hormonal imbalances, more than anything else, high insulin and high testosterone is what PCOS is for many. So if you can improve insulin resistance, you will go a long way to improving your PCOS overall. So the most important question is, out of the three, what is the most effective for PCOS? So you're not wasting time, you're not wasting money. Well, a study was actually just released. I've got the study here just in front of me. The study is called uh, Study on the Effect of Berberine, Myonositol, and Metformin in Women with Polycystic Ovary Syndrome. So this was a study that was done last year, January 2022. And the object objective was to find which one has the most benefits for PCOS. So... They took uh, three groups. One took berberine, one took metformin, one took PCOS, uh, inositol, sorry. And then they were looking at, uh, you know, waist to, hip, uh, waist to hip ratio, mean body weight, BMI, fasting blood sugar, insulin, insulin resistance, testosterone, total testosterone, free androgen and, uh, index. So here are the results from this study directly comparing all three treatments. So body weight, BMI, waist circumference, waist to hip ratio, free uh, fasting blood sugar, insulin, testosterone, total cholesterol, triglycerides, improved in all three groups. So pretty much all three groups can improve PCOS, right? Which is great because number one, it means you have options. You have metformin, inositol, berberine. But this is where it gets interesting. Between the three groups, berberine showed the greater difference in clinical, hormonal, and lipid parameters compared to metformin and inositol. So pretty much speaking, berberine is the most effective treatment out of the three for PCOS, for clinical, right? So physical, for hormonal and lipid parameters compared to metformin and inositol. While, met, while myo inositol showed greater improvement in carbohydrate uh, metabolic parameters. So conclusion, metformin improved all parameters of polycystic ovary syndrome. Perfect. Berberin had greater potential to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease because it had greater effects on bo body composition, lipid, and hormone status. So, and then myo-inositol improved en endocrine par uh, pyramid parameters and insulin sensitivity. So, based on this, berberin, all three are effective. Berberin is probably the most effective. And that backs up this uh, second study I have here, the, so polycystic ovary uh, management, the review, and possible amazing role of berberine. So this was a study done in February 2020. I'll put all the details below. And the the conclusions of this was that um, berberine induced a redisposition of adipose tissue and reduction of VAT. So a reduction in belly fat. So that's what I talk about um, often on my post is that berberine is probably the only supplement outside of L-carnitine that has specifically shown to reduce belly fat. As we know, belly fat increases insulin resistance, increases inflammation. So if you can improve, uh, reduce your belly fat, you go a long way to reducing insulin resistance as well. So berberine is 
very, very effective and has greater effects on body weight, belly fat loss compared to inositol or metformin. So, uh, and then this third study I want to show you, this was just released in January 2023 though, so last month. And this is actually a systematic review and meta-analysis. So this is the highest form of clinical research, right? This is different to just a one-off study. A meta-analysis is where they group studies and look at the results of all of the studies. So it's the most trustworthy uh, research you can find. And in this um, study, they actually took 26 individual studies and compared the results. So this is super trustworthy results. Again, I'll share the link uh, to this study below. And what they found after 26 individual studies, uh, 1,691 patients, they said they found that, again, they compared inositol to metformin in BMI, free testosterone, total de testosterone, androstenedione, dione, glucose, insulin, Inositol treatment in uh, yeah inositol treatment was just as effective as metformin. Here they say showed non inferiority inferiority compared to metformin. So it is just as effective for all of these uh, outcomes for PCOS as metformin. And here they say here in the conclusion, inositol is an effective and safe treatment for metformin. Moreover, inositol showed non inferiority uh, in outcomes compared to the gold standard treatment metformin. So I love this because so many uh, so many of you are prescribed metformin but just can't handle the side effects. Research is coming out now showing that you now have options. You know, I haven't spoken about N-acetylcysteine in this study, but you now have options. Berberine is probably showing early signs to be more effective than inositol and um, metformin, probably because it has additional benefits on belly fat and uh, body weight. Inositol has now shown conclusively to be just as effective as metformin, but metformin still works. I don't want to demonize metformin. Metformin still works. If your doctor prescribes it and you're seeing good results, fantastic. I just want to highlight here that you have options, and I feel like these options uh, aren't told to you enough. There's a huge education gap in PCOS. You're kind of told, just lose weight, here's birth control, here's metformin, and that's about it. It's just not true, and I'm so glad that research now is catching up and showing us the actual truth that you have options. So um, after this video, uh, let me know, have you taken inositol? Have you taken metformin? Have you tried berberin? What were the results? Did it help? Did it not help? Because I find that these conversations are how we move forward and you never know how much your experience may help the next person. So let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what topics you want me to speak on next. Uh, and if you ever want uh, continued daily education, follow, uh, follow me on TikTok or Facebook or Instagram. But for now, that's all, uh, and I'll see you on the next video.